In this video, let us see about D flip flop. There are four different types of flip flop, namely SR flip flop, which is the basic flip flop, JK flip flop is the modified version of SR flip flop. These two flip flops have, have been already covered in the video. You can check in the description. Next, we have D flip flop and T flip flop. So, in this video, we will be seeing about D flip flop. D means delay or you can say data flip flop. So, this delay flip flop will have only one input and two outputs. In SR flip flop, we have seen that S equal to 1 and R equal to 1. That is when both the inputs are 1, the output remains indeterminate. That is, you are not supposed to give S equal to 1 and R equal to 1 in SR flip flop. So, this condition is overcome in D flip flop by making sure that never S and R input are 1. So, this can be done easily by putting a inverter here. So, you see here the same SR flip flop. I am giving the input and the inverted input I will give to R. So, for S if it is 1, R should be 0. If S is 0, R will be 1. So, only these two conditions will occur in a D flip flop. So, when you see here, D is connected to S. Here in D flip flop, only one input will be there. But actually inside, if you see, D is connected to S. So, if I give D equal to 0, it means that S is 0. So, output will be 0 or it is a reset condition. And if I give D equal to 1, S is 1. So, output will be 1. So, it is very simple. D equal to 0, output will be 0. D is 1, output is 1. So, only two things will be there in D flip flop. Now we will see the D flip flop truth table. So D is the input which uh, first I have given 0 as the input and if the present output Qn is 0, the output is going to be 0 because we know in SR flip flop when S is 0, output will be 0. Next, if Qn is equal to 1 also, the output will be equal to 0 because this S is actually connected to D directly. So, whenever this S is 0, the output will be 0. So, in D flip flop, when D is 0, output, the next output will be always 0. When D is equal to 1, the output will be 1. So, D equal to 0, output 0, D equal to 1, output will be 1. So, we can say that the output is following the input. So, D is 0, output is 0, D is 1, output is 1, the output follows the input. So, this is D flip flop is also called a transparent latch. That is whatever it is in input is reflecting in the output. So, it is called transparent. The D flip flop is also called data flip flop or delay flip flop. So, whatever data you give it will come out or you can say whatever data you give after a clock cycle, it will reach the output. So, it is called delay flip flop also. So, the D flip flop, if we summarize, it is called data flip flop or delay flip flop. The output follows the input and it is also called transparent latch. And this is the truth table of D flip flop. So, when input is 0, output will be 0. When input is 1, output is 1. Characteristic equation will be useful 
to design counter using this flip flop. So first we have written the truth table. Here input present state and next state is given. So from this truth table we can derive the characteristic equation. For that let us uh, take the K map. Here two inputs are there D and the present state we are taking as two inputs for the K map and the K map is drawn from the future output or uh, next output Q n plus 1. So now D can be 0 and 1. Similarly Q n can be 0 and 1. If D is 0, so the first two cases, if D is 0 and Q n is 0, see here it is 0, 0 output will be 0. If D is 0 and Q n is 1, here it is 0. Here you will get 1 and 1. Now, let us mark this 1. Simplify it. What you will get? What is the common term here? D. So, Q n plus 1 is equal to D. Excitation table will be helpful when you are uh, designing uh, some counters or uh, for flip flop conversion it will be very helpful. So if for a given combination of present state and next state you will find what will be the input combination. That is what we will find in the excitation table. So this can also be easily derived from the truth table. The truth table and excitation table of D flip flop remains the same. For excitation table we will take the present state as well as next state as input. So for two combination you will get two variables you will get four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1. So 0 0 you check here what is 0 0 corresponding D value is 0. So, D is 0. For 0, 1, second one, 0, 1, here it is here. 0, 1, D should be 1. So, D is 1. For to get 1, 0, D should be 0. For 1, 1, D should be equal to 1. So, we can still simplify this one. You see here, when Q n plus 1 is 0, D is 0 in both the cases. So I can write Q n plus 1 is equal to 0 and D equal to 0 regardless of what is the value of Q n. Q n can be either 0 or 1 but if D is 0, next state will be always 0. Similarly for 1 also you can write. Let us summarize D flip flop. D flip flop is also called data flip flop or uh, delay flip flop. It has only one input. The output follows the input. It is also called transparent latch. So this is the truth table. When D is 0, next state will be always 0. And if D is 1, next state is 1. And characteristic equation is equal to Q n plus 1 equal to D. And this is the excitation table. If you like the video, do subscribe to Read Electric Vehicle channel. And if you want related uh, videos, you can refer to these uh, links given in the description. If you like the video, do subscribe to Read Electric Vehicle channel. Thank you.